Hi, I'm Lawrence Edwards from Black Mountain Honey. Welcome to another episode of No Nonsense Beekeeping. Today, we're going to review Oxyavar from BioVet. So before we go any further, as always, please take a look at honeybeebay.co.uk, an online beekeeping marketplace connecting buyers and sellers. All right, today's video, we're going to do a full review and demonstration of Oxyavar from BioVet. This product was provided for me for free by Andermatt UK for, you, for me to give you a review and give you my honest opinion. I'm not paid for the review, but the product was provided for free and I'll give you my honest review and recommendation for the product. Also in this video, I've done a previous video showing you and doing a review of this product. This is the automatic dosing syringe, works really well with the Octivar. We're gonna use this in the video and I'll show you applying some of the solution to the bees in order to combat Varroa mites. So this product by Andermatt, one thing I really like about it is that the instructions come in a nice uh, contained label on the front of the product. So the first thing to do, if you buy this product and you don't get any instructions with it, all you do is you just peel this away and you get a really detailed information pamphlet to so you can follow all of the steps really, really accurately. Whenever you're doing anything with oxalic acid, really do make sure that you take adequate precaution. We're gonna put gloves on and we're gonna put some face wear on when we actually come to do the trickling. So what looks like a really small information pamphlet folds out and you get like a full book really. Loads of different languages, but it gives you all of the information that you need to safely apply this solution to your bees. So you can apply this product in two ways. You can use a sprayer, take each of the frames out and spray them both sides. That is not a winter treatment. You can't do that in winter. So we'll follow that up with a separate video later on in the year. What we're gonna to do today is a trickling method. So we're trickling the solution over a cluster. So the first thing it says to do in the instructions is to pre-warm the solution. You wanna get it up to about 30 to 35 degrees C, nice and warm, and then you can safely use it to treat all of your bees. You can do that by putting it in a water bath or you can just leave it on a really kind of mild radiator with some protection underneath it. You wanna get it to about 30 to 35 degrees C. So before you cut the seal, get your glasses on, get some gloves on. No reason not to take adequate precaution for this. It's a nasty substance and you need to take adequate precautions. So what you need to do then is you need to add 275 grams of standard white sugar into the mix. You've already pre-warmed this and then you put the lid back on and you just wanna shake that until all the sugar is dissolved. You're effectively making a one-to-one -one sugar solution with the addition of the oxalic acid inside it. So once you've shaked that up really well, make sure all the sugar is completely dissolved. What you can do is if you're gonna use this product with a manual syringe, you can just take the lid off, put the syringe in there and suck out the amount that you need. We're gonna use the automatic syringe today because I think it's a really nice product, makes dispensing this onto the bees considerably easier and gives you the exact correct dosage as well. So. Luckily, the automatic syringe, also made by Andermatt, it comes fully compatible with the Oxivar container. All you do is you just take the container like that, place it underneath, and then you spin the container, as opposed to spinning the hose. You give it a few pumps just to prime it. Right, so we've got the product fully primed now. The cylinder is full of oxalic acid solution that we made up in here, one-to-one -one sugar syrup with the Oxivar. All of the pipe is filled. There's no air gaps. We're ready to go and dispense this product onto the bees. Right, so you need to make sure that you're doing this in the correct temperature. It's about seven or eight degrees here today. Perfect temperature for doing sublimation, but also for doing trickling. This is the colony that we're gonna do it on. What you wanna do is make sure that you limit the amount of time that you've got the colony open. And that's why the automatic syringe is really, really good and helpful. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the roof off go straight in and then I'll talk to you a little bit about the process afterwards. So what's so good about this product and the syringe is that it's easy to apply, it's nice and safe. You're looking to get five milliliters per seam and that's why the automatic dosing syringe is so good. So that's it there, that's giving me the perfect five milliliters dosage on that first seam. I'll rearrange the camera now, you can get a close up view exactly what I'm doing. So there you go, that's the treatment complete. It's really, really quick and easy to use that automatic syringe. Just takes all of the guesswork out of it. You know that when that cylinder is full, 
is five millilitres or slightly over because we put a little bit extra in there to account for the air bubble. And then once you've dispensed that all the way down, you know that you're adding five millilitres of that solution as we've made up on the back of the recommendations from Andermatt per seam of bees. And that's what's really important here is to get the dosing correct. So you're adding 275 grams of sugar into that solution bringing it up to the right temperature between 30 and 35 degrees, and then making sure that you're getting the correct amount of liquid per seam of bees. And that is what you need to combat Varroa if you're using it in a trickling method. So you can buy this product direct from Andermatt. You can buy it from loads of different beekeeping companies across the UK as well. Just search for it, it's called Oxivar. Um, and this is the method that I would recommend if you're gonna go ahead and use it. I would highly recommend the automatic syringe as well. They've provided both of these products free for me, but I'm not going to recommend anything to you that I don't think is a good product. This syringe works really, really well. It's well designed and it's great at dosing the correct amount of solution to treat your bees for Varroa. So like I said before, there's an argument to be had whether you should be trickling or whether you should be sublimating. My preferred choice is sublimation, um, but there's added risks that are associated with that and there's added issues in terms of batteries and power and generators. So for a backyard beekeeper, I would say trickling is definitely gonna be the easier of the options. I would say it's probably the safer of the options as well. You're not dealing with anything coming up into your face. You don't need full respiration equipment. You don't need generators. You don't really need any specialist equipment because you can do this with a manual syringe. Obviously the automatic syringe I think is a, is a nice touch um, and it does make the product a little bit uh, safer in terms of getting the correct dosage out but you can do this without the automatic syringe so finally i just want to say thanks to andermatt for sending me these products i much appreciate you sending me the products to review and i hope that it gives the the general public some good information on how to use your products so i hope you've enjoyed this video as always please hit the subscribe button please hit the bell so you're notified of every video and i'll see you next time